Hey what's up guys, this is Average Asian Tech, and today I have the Sadie's K10 Mechanical Keyboard, and this keyboard is a budget full size mechanical keyboard for under $50. So before I get too far into this video, I'd like to give a big thanks to Smart Purchase Shop for sending this keyboard in for review. The Amazon page and this keyboard will be in the description. So starting off with the unboxing, you do get the keyboard itself, the keycap holder, and the instructions manual. One thing I was a bit surprised with was that when I first picked it up, this keyboard was quite heavy. Looking at the general design, it is a full keyboard meaning that it does have the full number pad. The font of this keyboard is something I wouldn't call gamer-esque, but I would describe it as a modern, minimalistic font which I actually like. Under the keycaps, there are the LEDs that are controllable using the FN and the lighting mode key. And you can also light the Sadie's logo using the FN and delete key. There is a metal backplate which explains how heavy this keyboard is and the backplate also gives it some rigidity and also to look nice. On the top you can find the three lights that can tell you if you are in caps lock, num lock, oh, but I would like to have seen these marked instead of them being blank. On the back you do find the four rubber feet with the flip out feet for some height adjustment. You can also route the cable which is very nice and the cable is something I haven't actually seen before. It is a braided cable inside of a rubber outer coat. When you do take the key cap off, you can find the Cherry MX Blue clone which sounds and feels satisfying. Just for you, here's a sound test of this keyboard using the onboard mic on my camera. So in conclusion, this keyboard is pretty good for what it costs. Although it's not the cheapest going for $50, it's actually not bad because it includes the full number pad. If you do not need a number pad however, you can actually save a bit more money and I suggest you going with something like the Z88 keyboard that I reviewed on my channel which you can check on the card on screen now. So that's going to wrap it up for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.